Yeah. And yeah, here he is, like just just doing this, which is like amazing. Un- it's incredible. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, it's it's putting ripples through a lot of the other fighting game people or like fighting game designers and stuff. Oh yeah, uh, let's get yeah. the roll back. Hello, like yeah. no more slacking, slacking off. Somebody needs to hire yeah. that guy and just pay him a stupid amount of money. Yeah, here we go. All right, Falcon versus Marth. You know this matchup, like back in the day, back in the day, I thought this matchup was pretty free for Falcon, right? Right. Like back in back in my day, but uh, as soon as like Quaff started to get really really good and like. Now, like, seeing Zane and, like, even just playing Marth a lot on, on Netplay, it's like, yeah, oh my god, I think this this matchup has gone, like, a full 180, at least for me. I, I, I still play, like, it's 2015, but still, you know what I mean? Like, this, yeah. this matchup, I think, is, is actually pretty, pretty difficult, like, it definitely Marth feels is just like so Zane good. Is, <laughs> yeah, Zane has really pushed it super far now, too, right? Yeah. Where it's kind of like we had the M2K kind of combo-oriented uh, punish game style. Marth pretty far mapped out, but nobody had really done the neutral oh, game in the past Oh, yeah, years. no kidding, man. Yeah. And then now Zane has brought all of these new and, tools, like his yeah. pivoting and his all of his different movements. Yeah, even like, the punch uh, games are elevated too. Like, Marth yeah. just seems like such an amazing character. And especially with Zane right now, it's just... Me- Melee is so fun to watch. I-, I think right now Melee is the best position it's ever been in terms of, like, spectatorship. Absolutely, it's like, it's a, yeah. there's so much to watch, there's so it's many so people to watch. to watch, there's so, like, yeah. it, it's, it's very not... balanced too, it's like, the, the era of the gods of like, well, it's a toss-up between these five, which yeah. is, now it's like more of a toss-up between, I don't know, like, six, seven, eight players, really, well, Zane still being the top contender, but then everyone else will vote beyond that. There's a lot of variability, anyway. and there's a lot of, like, infighting between the variability as well, and, and yeah. there's so many unique character arcs, right? We've got yeah. three Falcons. Right, like we've got three mm-hmm. unique Falcons nonetheless, yeah, right? And none, Jay, Wizzy. One thing um, that is consistent though, Red, ever since I started playing Melee back in the mid 2000s, is, is it's Martha is a good character. Yeah. <laughs> He's always been out there. Like, out, out of every character in the game, I, I, Martha's definitely had the longest reigning, like, like, uh, hold on the number one character, or like the, not the number one character in Melee, but like the number one player in Melee playing that character. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Like, we're like, you have to think about us and our region also. Oh my god, like, our region needs a break. We have been dominated for Marth, I think, for the entire lifespan of our of our community in Alberta specifically. It's time. Cause we, yes! Because it went from Mike Monkey's Marth back in, like, the two, mid, like the 2000s, and then it was Carl for so long. And then after, and then Jack was up there also, Killock, and then it was Quaff, like, my goodness, man. <laughs> and then we had a bit of a sort of intermittent Solarius Quaff reign as well. Yeah, so what is, oh, another Marth, yeah. Another yeah. Marth, yeah, exactly. And, and then another high contender currently in our region is Odin. Yeah, is Odin, like, we have so so Odin, honestly, it's, uh, I've been out of the picture for Melee for quite some time, and Odin definitely, uh, was a young buck back in my active days. So it's, it's, it's awesome to see him. off of him regardless, but, yeah. uh... That's awesome. Yeah, Martha. <laughs> Martha is so good. Why? Why is he allowed to be this good? Uh, yeah, it really is stunning. Particularly, like given a lot of the defensive techniques he can utilize to survive mm-hmm. things, mm-hmm. the smash AI and such. Now as well, um, he really is one of those characters where it can essentially be if he gets your hands on you, or he gets his hands on you, yeah. it's over. And, it's fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's fun to see like the. The meta evolved too, because like back when shield dropping started to become a thing, it was like, oh no, what's Mark gonna do now? Because before, Mark used to be able to sit underneath your platform and just shark with up tilt. Yeah, and then being able to shield drop was like a big, like a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's that's like ages ago. Right. My gosh, it's like shield dropping used to be a huge thing. It was like me and like two other people in our province that could shield drop. And now it's like you play any young kid on on netplay melee, and it's like they're they're moving around like it's like it's you know just another thing. Yeah, I still remember the, uh, the shield drop the video that you yeah. put on. Yeah, man! That was yeah. just like, come on, everybody. Everybody needs to start shield dropping right now. Totally. And here that we go. Like, I, I was doing, like, shield, like, like, yeah, yeah. Now I was doing, like, slide off the eye and all these crazy things, like... 100%. Pretty... Yeah, slide off the eye being one of the craziest things that... It's just so surprising to me that it hadn't been implemented, because it's so easy. Like, it's so easy to do, but it's so useful. Um, well, and it's, it's, just, like, it's standardized now because of the way that you can use, like... Um, the mods, right? And, yeah. and having your unified or yeah, unified controllers, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, UCF. I, I or suppose standardized easier. controllers, yeah. Standardized yeah. controllers, yeah. Yeah, that definitely uh, uh, makes it easier. Mm. Yeah, it's just stuff like that. It's like, you're not going to be able to cheese Marth in yeah. that way. You know what I mean? Like, no, no other character can really cheese Marth in the way that... Because his up B is, like, pretty difficult, actually, to really try to gimmick. Uh, yeah. Vanguard. Aside from maybe the spaces, it's really... It's really yeah, but even then, it's like... The yeah. fast forward is like Marth will just like sneeze on you if you're up off stage and, and you die, right? Exactly, yeah, you risk your talk every time you go out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Super oppressive fair walls by uh by yeah. Odin here. Oh, oh slide off back air, that was nice. Man, this is so funny cool. too, the way that Slippy works because it's not live, like we have to just watch the replays after yeah. the plays are play. So it's just Andrew over here just like like feeling himself. Oh man! Like look at how sick that was. <laughs> <laughs> he's right though. I mean, he's right. Like it would be it would be yeah. different if it wasn't sick, but it is. So I mean, yeah. he can he can relive it. I'm excited if he wants to stay uh, Captain Falcon. Great. Yeah, I like it. You know me. I'm a I'm a Falcon fan. Oh yeah, I'll take I'll take Falcon gameplay all day. All day. And then Dreamland now for game three. Dream. So Anjo's counter pick. Makes sense, he wants the space to move around. Yep. Ooh, gentlemen. Yeah, really two is no transformation stadium. Yeah. That's like the best part of all of this, man. <laughs> so sick. I, I feel like I was cheated because I haven't really had much chance to play on normal Pokemon, and now it's just frozen, oh, so yeah. I never even got the chance. Oh my gosh. I wanted to do the shenanigans and like pit and stuff. I mean, I'm a fox player, so that's why. But mm -hmm. um, long overdue, sure. Yeah, new technology, man. Melee, what what a game. And it's just evolving, you know. It's just it's just getting better. The players are getting better, and it's an easier time than ever to get involved in as well. Like the things such as Uncle Punch, Slippy, all of these sorts of things, you can just play super easily and improve and get into competitive yeah. at a faster rate than ever before. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's so good. Ooh. Yeah, I, just, I, I actually just love uh, communities that just go back to like old games. Like, like we we had Third Strike earlier today, and and it's you know it's this dedicated community there too, playing Third, and it's just like I don't know, I just love it. I, I've just been always a big fan of like games that don't get patches. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah, it's a, it's a, there's something unique about them, right? It's yeah. it's kind of almost like it, it breeds a more diverse meta. We were talking mm -hmm. about this earlier. There's not many games out there with an almost 20 year meta game. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, uh, two of those games are here, like in this tournament. You yeah, know? there's not many of them. Yeah, it's super interesting to see yeah. from like an esports perspective as well, right? Yeah. Like we've seen football and basketball progress over years, but we haven't ever seen that really with with most fighting games because most games go to the newest yeah, version. You get patches, yeah, or the yeah. newest version. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean it makes sense though, because it you know a lot of these good games that get played like for so long, there's so many other fighting games. Or just games in general that came out and they're kind of super busted, right? Or yeah, they just yeah. aren't worth very, very good. So it is a bit of like stroke of luck too for games like Melee and Third Strike to to still be able to be played to this day. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a stroke of luck of it being good and not having like a single thing that's like super oppressive about it that doesn't, uh, you know, deter community growth. But even then, it's like if the game is that good, people will find ways around it, and that's how it evolves, right? Yeah, absolutely a testament though to the quality of the game making. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, some of the some of the best uh, sort of uh, super old Nintendo titles can still hold up super well, like Wind Waker, obviously being like a great example that it, it's still beautiful to look at. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, melee holding up after all these years. Is great. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I was using the wrong mic. Thank you, Mason Man. Whole time I was using my webcam mic. Like, I have like mic. all mic like right here. I'm not even using it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that's right! You have Guilty Gear too. We actually have three old games! We have Guilty Gear um, Plus Arm, we have Mainly Third Strike. How old is that's Guilty Gear? Well, Guilty, there's like... It's like, a, this is an older title. Do you have the 7-Up okay. Jawa? Do you have the year for the Guilty Gear title we have? That's the, that's the old one that they brought uh, Rip Rollback and I played for. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh, uh, ooh. Uh. And Odin is so good at these wave dash and down tilts. Mm -hmm. He just, it's so impressive. He did that in between just running it and grabbing and doing these sort of like fair walls. It's so difficult for Andrew to find a way in. Yeah. Marth, man. Marth's hard. <laughs> yeah, he's so tough. Yeah. 
there's also something to say, not not to, to discount his, his ability or anything, but there's something to say about the tournament difficulty of the character. And sort of like the the kind of lower input total amount. Yeah, that's like a that. strength though. Yeah, that's a strength. That's like in any other fighting game, you can choose to play a high execution, high reward character, or you know, you just play Ken, right? You just play yeah. someone who's just you know pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and you know that that by itself is a is a, is a strong advantage in the tournament uh, setting. Absolutely. So. Yeah. When it's when it's down to the wire, it's the last yeah. stock maybe of your yeah. tournament. It's, yeah. Uh, it's hugely important. That's right. Ooh, 185. Ah! Both of them theoretically dying from one hit at this point. Ooh, my goodness. Depending on the hit. Yeah, that's it. And goal. that's going to be yeah. the, end, the end of that game for Andrew. All right. Here we go. Oh, 2002. Well, wow, so Lucky Lucky is for 2002. Yeah. 2002. So, so Third pretty... Strike's the oldest yeah. one of the three, but yeah, those are three old, old games. Super that is one thing I will always stand by. All right. I will. Be because I grew up playing these old games, all the events till the end of time that I run, I, and I pledge to this live, is I'll always feature those, those like small communities, small dedicated communities for those kind of games, man. Okay, well, I'll come knocking with the CRT over my shoulder one day. You Victor, already you <laughs> know. You already know, man. I had to get rid of my old CRT because it got demagnetized and it, now it's awful. Oh, no. But then I was like, I can't live without a CRT because I also play all the retro games too, right? So right, I, I so. went out tonight, I, I got another CRT for myself. Well, see, I, I, I'm i starting to question now, because of COVID and such, it may be such a long period of time before Melee gets back to land that we may not be at CRTs anymore. Yes, you know what? This might actually be the, the precedent set for, for Melee moving forward. We yeah. can finally just, like, yeah, just get laptops and yeah. monitors, right? The, yeah, the thing that I was thinking about is the fact that, uh, you know, I've got like 10 CRTs in my house and over the course of COVID, I've been like seeing people saying they're getting rid of them and I'm like, yeah. ah, do I get it? Because I might not even ever use it. Yeah, keep keep uh, it. Keep it for now. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Yeah, we'll I'm not going to get rid of any. I just yeah. I'm not adding for now. It still Ooh. breaks my heart to see like recycled CRTs. You know? It does. Yeah, it's it's yeah. super, super sad, Nick. Yeah. CRTs are so special. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Oh, right. Yeah, it's like honestly like watching clean melee class like doesn't even seem right. I want to see like the CRT lines, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't feel correct. The yeah. HD melee. That's like for all old oh games. God. Like if I were to play like or create a time again, I want the title screen. Like I want the crackling and the, you know, when you get the title screen for Arcana and you get the gallops. Like that whole thing. That's you want the whole nostalgia. It, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. If you play that in an emulator, it just it hits. It doesn't hit the same. It's true. It's it's definitely better on the original. It's like having a. Uh, music with like a like a record player and like the right scene and everything yeah you know, that's like right the crackling of the vinyl record yeah yeah exactly it's its own sort of uh part of the oh my gosh yeah odin. Like, man odin is amazing what what he's happened very man? good yeah he's uh he, he was like just outside of top eights on. back when we were doing uh tournament arc and anime thon and here he is taking this thing i'm over here talking about nostalgic crt experiences but odin's putting the work right now Ew. clap yeah, it definitely oh, seems like he's he's put a lot of work into this, um, into like understanding this matchup. Like, not saying that he didn't have it previously, but it's clear that yeah. he's you know got this figured out. Oh my gosh, yeah, um, the the meta for this matchup specifically has changed so much. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many unique things that have occurred, and, oh, and you gosh. see that as well with Odin. Like, uh, we we may not get an opportunity to see it again, but his low percent, uh, like neutral game against Captain oh. Falcon is amazing. Yeah, man, this, this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as soon as Marth realized that they could just, like, play neutral with low committal moves instead of, like, F-smashing. Instead of F-smashing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, in neutral, it's like, oh my gosh, like, now you can all of a sudden, like, stuff everything that Falcon can do if you play reactionary, right? Yeah. Down tap, like, down tilt his dash-ins, and just, like, you can, you can still even, use, like, reverse fair, fading back fair on his approaches, right? He's gonna have smash it back, That's it. that is gonna be it, so... That's Grand it. Finals winner Odin, um, fantastic job by him. Congratulations to Odin coming in in second place. Good job to Anjo as well, and everybody else who competed. Great job, everybody! Fantastic performance by everybody involved. Shout out to Odin. Odin is already in my DMs. How do I get that twenty-four, twenty-five dollar Herbaland gift card? <laughs> He's already in my DMs. Didn't even get me a chance to get off commentary. Um, yeah. but awesome, great games, everyone. Great job, Red. My Great friend, job. Rowan, no one is more dedicated 
to melee than this kid. 